In this class, you will study about gizmos, understand how they work in a design, and learn how to use them. Before modifying objects in a 3D scene, you need to be conscious of the concept of gizmos and pivots. If you are new to this field, this term may look strange, but this is what shows the use of the properties for shifting an object. The 3DX Max interface is based on the three Cartesian planes, called X, Y and Z. These planes show the actual location of an object in space. This space is technically known as the world. The origin is defined as 000, displayed initially in the center of the viewpoint. So that means X is 0, Y is 0, and Z is 0. As the zero point is the center of the viewport, you can view the object movement based on positive and negative values. Familiarization with these basic concepts helps you enhance your understanding of gizmos. The gizmo is the graphic symbol that shows the direction of the X, Y and Z axis in an object. Look in the lower left corner of viewports to check and the gizmo will show the movement of each axis from each view. The gizmo shows the axis movement related to the 3D world. This way, you will be conscious of the real movement related to the world. The default colors for the X, Y and Z axis are red, green and blue, respectively. See how the color is yellow when we roll the mouse over it. The graphic appearance of the gizmo changes slightly depending on the selected command. Click Select and Move and you will see the colored arrows point towards the positive side of the axis. Hit the Select and Rotate command to view the colored circles, which will be filled based on how much rotation is applied to the object. Use the Select and Uniform Scale command. To change the object scale along one of the axes, or click one of the triangles to change along two of the axes. And you can also apply scaling to all the axes simultaneously. The gizmo displays the pivotal rotation as well as axis relationships. This is used for rotation, placement or scale actions. You can also modify this on the Hierarchy tab. See this example. So, in this class you have studied concepts on gizmos and pivots. Getting familiar with these tools makes it easy to see how these elements in the scene are affected by applied changes.